Hello and welcome to this video showing Vertex 6 Integrated Block for PCI Express. My name is Alex Goldhammer, Strategic Marketing Manager for PCI Express. In this video, I will be showing three demonstrations of the capabilities of the integrated block. This is Xilinx's second generation mature integrated block for PCI Express. Highlighted in red are some of the new features Xilinx has integrated since Vertex 5. The IP is an integrated block which implements the complete PCI Express protocol stack consisting of the physical layer on the right, the data link layer, and the transaction layer. The block can be configured as both an endpoint and root port, allowing for various use model implementations. The protocol stack supports both Gen 1 and Gen 2 and can be configured from one lane to eight lanes through an easy to use core gen graphical user interface. Building on previous generation integrated blocks from Vertex 5, the block has been highly tuned for high performance applications, which I would like to show in the following demonstrations. For the Vertex 6 integrated block for PCI Express, ease of use and high performance were a key focus. Building on experience from previous generations, Shown here are the top benefits of the Xilinx integrated IP. The hard IP solution from Xilinx has several high performance enhancements in the core and further supports applications needing by 8 Gen 2 PCI Express bandwidth. By using the latest techniques in clocking and reevaluating the architecture, Xilinx has the lowest power PCI Express block compared to any FPGA vendor in the 40 nanometer node. And finally, because the IP is integrated, there are very few fabric resources required in the fabric. And there is no licensing cost for the IP. Bottom line, Xilinx makes PCI Express and FPGAs not only easy to use, but delivers the highest performance per watt in the Vertex 6 FPGA. In the demonstrations I'm now going to show, I'm going to be using the Vertex 6 FPGA in the ML605 evaluation kit. This evaluation kit includes a board with a PCI Express by 8 edge connector and can be easily plugged into a standard PC or server. This evaluation kit makes it easy to develop PCI Express based designs. In this demonstration, I will be showing the Xilinx Vertex 6 integrated block for PCI Express on the ML605 evaluation kit. Shown on this Windows PC running Microsoft XP and the Bus Mastering DMA or BMD GUI, the FPGA will send DMA transactions from the card to and from the PC. What I have shown on the screen is the Bus Mastering DMA graphical user interface to show this demo. I'm going to start by showing the right performance of the FPGA. As you can see, I have the right button selected here, and then I will hit the Start button to actually initiate the transfer. The results shown here at the bottom shows roughly 56,000 megabits per second. The actual performance is actually half of what we're seeing here, roughly 28,000 megabits per second. Next, I'm going to show the read performance of the FPGA by selecting the read button up at the top and then initiating the transaction. Here, in this case, the performance is 47,000 megabits per second. Again, the actual performance is half of what the number you see here, which is roughly 24,000 megabits per second. In this demonstration, I'm going to show the Northwest Logics DMA running with the Xilinx Vertex 6 integrated block for PCI Express in a by 4 Gen 2 configuration. As shown in this diagram, the FPGA is going to send and receive DMA transactions directly to and from the processor memory. What I have shown on the screen is Northwest Logic's graphical user interface to run their DMA engine. First, I'm going to click on the PCI configuration tab to show the PCI Express configuration space of the FPGA. As you can see down below, in the link status register, it shows 1042. The 4 stands for a by 4 or 4 lanes of PCI Express, and the 2 for PCI Express Gen 2. Next, I'm going to show the throughput performance of the Northwest Logic DMA. I'm going to click on the throughput graph tab shown here. By clicking the Start button, this will initiate the DMA transfers to and from the PC to and from the FPGA. In blue is the DMA performance from the card to the system, meaning the card is initiating DMA transactions to the processor. 
Here, the performance is 1,410 megabytes per second. Shown on the black line is the DMA performance in the system-to-card direction, meaning that the processor is sending DMA transactions to the FPGA. In this case, the DMA performance is 1,357 megabytes per second. Thank you very much for joining us. And for more information on Xilinx PCI Express Solutions, please visit our website.